Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Weekend Today in Central New York. And happy Father's Day to everyone. I want to wish you all a great day to spend with your dad or your loved ones. And also, I want to give out a number one dad award to my father. He's been so supportive through the years, especially here at CNY Central, watching all my forecast videos, cheering me on and getting so excited about it. Plus all of the Syracuse games that we've been going to. This is a photo that really shows what we love to do. We've been to most of the Syracuse basketball games, and I'm hoping to take you to more, Dad. So. I really hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll end up seeing you later on. I also want to wish you all a happy Father's Day. If you're planning on doing any events with your dad today, forecast looks great for it. Just a mix of sun and clouds, nice mild temperatures in the mid 70s and also a nice light wind as well. If you are heading westward towards the Finger Lakes or anywhere across western New York, there will be some smoke haze from Canadian wildfires. Something to watch out for if you have any underlying health conditions. Now, as we go through today, we are starting off with some quieter weather this morning. It is nice and dry outside, and we are expecting to stay that way as we go through today. Taking a live look from our triple Doppler radar, sponsored by Falso Service Experts. We have this coastal system that's bringing us a few extra clouds today and a couple of showers out by Albany, but this system is exiting. We're going to stay mostly dry as high pressure builds in from the west. We're still seeing a north wind today, keeping our temperatures on the mild to warm side. And also because of that north wind, that's pulling down some of that smoke from the Canadian wildfires just for western New York. But that does eventually head out as we look towards the work week. Eventually on the other side of this system, we'll get some hotter temperatures for tomorrow for Juneteenth. And the risk to see a couple of showers to the south as our next weather system passes by to our south, keeping most of the rain out of central New York. So to sum up your Juneteenth forecast for tomorrow, if you're planning on doing any events for this Freedom Day, temperatures around 60 with mostly sunny skies in the morning. A few extra clouds pop up in the afternoon. There is a very small chance to see an isolated shower or thunderstorm, but most places should stay dry. They'll be very widely isolated. And temperatures will be nice and warm in the afternoon, climbing into the lower 80s. And looking ahead to the rest of the work week, heating up from the lower 80s Monday through Wednesday to the upper 80s on Thursday and Friday, although the records are in the lower 90s for those days, so not looking to break those. As we go through today, starting off near 60 with a mix of sun and clouds, 70 by lunchtime, then in the afternoon, mid 70s, with a chance for an isolated shower far to the east, but staying dry here locally. Into tonight, cooling back off into the 50s, and then another nice day for Juneteenth as we check out your seven day forecast. Monday, mix of sun and clouds, warmer in the lower 80s, chance for a widely isolated shower in the afternoon. Same goes for Tuesday as well. Then sunshine returns Wednesday through Friday, heating up into the upper 80s by the end of the week with our next just best chance for scattered thunderstorms arriving on Saturday. Maggie.